Hello, I'm David Gibson. I am Professor of Plant Biology in the School of Biological Sciences here at SIU. I came here from England many years ago. I've been at SIU for about 28 years now. Um, I got into science actually though because of my high school biology teacher. For some reason she had been to America uh, but was an inspiring teacher and really got me going in biology and sent me off to university. As a plant ecologist my research is really about trying to understand what plants we have in the environment, where they occur, and why they occur in certain places, bearing in mind that the environment is changing, things like climate change. So the research we do in my lab is, is related to that kind of overall question of trying to understand where plants are and why they're there. So this setting we're in today is really good for that because we're out at the Agricultural Research Center where we have behind me some, some prairie plots and behind you, behind the camera, we have a lot of agricultural fields. And so my research looks at both of those settings. From an ag agricultural perspective, we look at weeds that grow in agricultural fields. What are the weeds? Why are they there? How they relate into the crops? From a more natural community setting, we look at places like prairies that we used to have a lot of in Illinois. We look at the, the, the forests that we have south of Carbondale and the Shawnee National Forest. We're concerned with things like uh, rare plants. We have a new project we started recently with the Chicago Botanic Garden looking at uh, what rare plants we have in southern Illinois, where they are, we're going to be monitoring over a period of time. We look at invasive plants. Those are those plants that are sort of not supposed to be here, the ones that have been imported from other, other areas. How do they get here? How are they doing? How are they growing? What are they doing to the natural systems? We look at all those things. Uh, we're concerned with um, the sources of plants that we use in reconstructing a prairie. So here we have different experimental plots that have been seeded with different sources of ecotypes. And we've got seed from Illinois and seed from areas in Kansas. And we're putting them out here and seeing how they're doing. The other aspect we're looking at here is uh, climate change. Some of the projections for climate change are reductions in precipitation and changes in temperature. And so behind me here, we have these um, what we call rainout shelters. These intercept up to 50% of the rainfall during the growing season. So we just put these up today. And so beneath each one of these, we have sample plots that we'll survey to see how the plants are doing. And then we have adjacent to the areas like we see here, we have areas that don't have the rain out shelter. So what do we do in these, in these plots? We take a piece of sophisticated ecological equipment, which is called a quadrat, and we literally place it out on the ground, and then we estimate the abundance of the different species. We can do that by eye, or sometimes we will clip all the vegetation, put it into bags, and dry in an oven, separate it by species, and weigh it. We'll analyze uh, the nutrient content of the plants to see how much nitrogen or phosphorus they're taking up. So if you were to work in, in my lab, there's a likelihood you'll be doing estimations like this. You might be measuring the performance of a plant, the growth of a plant. You might want to know how many flowers it has on it, so its reproductive status, and how many seeds it produces. So you might be making measurements of the, of the height, the number of flowers. Those are the sorts of things you'd likely be measuring. Another important aspect of prairie research, or any research field in natural areas, is fire. Fire is historically a natural disturbance to ecosystems. And what fire does in prairies is to remove dead material at the end of the year. And that rejuvenates the soil. It makes the soil darker, so it warms up quicker in the spring, so plants grow faster. And so to try and mimic the natural disturbance that we have in, in this artificial setting of this restored prairie. One of the things we have to do is to burn them. And so we do that every couple of years or every three years. Recently, uh, we burned these plots and some other plots we've got out here. So the plan is after a disturbance like burning or anything else, we would then monitor these plots. We would come back later that year or the following year and do a survey and to see what the plants are. And so if you're interested in this sort of work, if you'd like to be outside, outdoors, amongst nature, then I invite you to join my lab. 
we have working in my lab graduate students and undergraduates from all levels, uh, freshmen up to seniors and all levels of graduate students. So if you're interested in this sort of work, for more information, click on the link below.